The pandemic has been quite annoying, hasn't it? Stopping everybody from travelling as they want. But we want to welcome you to our little video about the Cotswolds. So, what's so interesting about the Cotswolds then? Hmm. The Cotswolds are famous for the honey-hued stone architecture. The golden colour of the buildings adds so much charm to the already very pretty towns and villages. This oolitic Jurassic limestone has been quarried in the area for hundreds of years. The Cotswolds covers a huge area, almost 800 square miles, and runs through five counties, Gloucestershire, Oxfordshire, Warwickshire, Wiltshire, and Worcestershire. My favourite tables. One of the delights of visiting the Cotswolds is exploring the different areas, each with its own identity, yet all with those defining Cotswold features such as golden stones and rolling hills, the worlds essentially. Why one of the sticks doesn't want to race? But first things first, let's race this stick down this river. Go Sticky! Yay! So here we are on Arlington Row, and what is Arlington Row famous for? Well, Arlington Row on an awkward hill is a nationally notable architectural conservation area depicted on the inside cover of all United Kingdom passports. It is a popular visitor attraction, probably one of the most photographed of Cotswold scenes in history. Just gonna get through these crowds of people. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you, thank you, sorry, thank you, thank you. Wellington Road was preserved by the Royal College of Arts and has been used in film and television locations, most notably for the film Stardust and Bridget Jones' Diary. Still not married yet, eh, Bridge? How's your love life? How's your love life? How's your love life? Haven't had a sniff of a date in over 18 months. Start a diary. Yeah, I'm sure one of those films is a comedy. Anyway, I live in Arlington Gardens in Essex, and this is Arlington Row, so there is some kind of synergy. Yeah? No? Okay, anyway, let's move on. So here we go, a little bit of history. The cottages were built in 1380 as a monastic wool store. This was converted into a row of cottages for weavers in the late 17th century, with some late 17th or 18th century additions later, um, obviously. In 2017, the BBC reported that an ugly car park by an elderly motorist had been vandalised, possibly by visitors who had repeatedly complained about the spoiled photographs. Well, there you go. Beyond a tourist attraction, there are tenants living in Island to Road, and this is their home, and they will take great pleasure in reminding you of that. When you're here, you can't help but be captivated by the natural beauty that surrounds the area. Arlington Lodge. We live in Arlington Gardens. Bilbury is situated in the Gloucestershire Cotswolds on the River Colne, nine miles away from the market town of Burford. It is simply a very relaxing day out with the family. Wonderful. Did you know that Henry Ford thought Arlington Road was an icon of England? On a trip to the Cotswolds, he tried to buy the entire row of houses. 
to ship them back to Michigan of all places so that he could include them in Greenfield Village. Really? Really? Maybe, maybe the new ones are good. Until 14, it will be only small changes. I think you can hear our friend Roberio as we're walking through this historical village he is updating me on the new iPhone technology I think it's uh, the iPhone 29 The history of the Cotswold woolen industry may be said to begin in Roman times when the large villa of Chedworth was probably dying and fulling establishment based upon a good water supply and local deposit of fuller's earth. Cloth may have been made as siren sister also but it's impossible to prove that the later cloth industry had continuous history from these times. But we don't know what this is that we're touching. It looks like wool and the kids are fascinated but we've got absolutely no idea. Yep. No idea. I can't believe they're still fascinated by it. They're still touching that thing. Look, don't know where it's been. A fine example of the Saxon weaver's hut was unearthed recently near the river Windrush on Bolton on the Water in the North Gloucestershire. Hence, the cloth making industry in the Cotswolds is of considerable age. You are joking. They've gone back for more. They're absolutely fascinated by it. What is it? It's like an old mattress. Mm, yeah, it's disgusting. But I'll touch it anyway. Mm. I've got a better idea. Let's see this thing float down the river. Bye, cotton. Or something. Brilliant. Ah, the activity by which all it's boys going become the men. Wrong way. Floating things down river. It's stuck. Uh, oops. Uh oh, it's in a whirlpool. It's in some kind of swell there. Never mind, try again. That's it. Here we go. And we're off to the races. village hall where all the major decisions are made about where to put your bins. Let me out for a little walk. Ah, oh, poor thing. Tell me about the dreams 
Ah! That's not funny, child. What are you laughing at? That's what we love to see, little girls chasing after their daddies whilst crying. She's actually really sweet. There's always a scene. Stop ruining my shot. We can always count on Zephan to ruin a shot. I think that's quite a nice shot. I think so too. Why is this patching on right in the middle? Bolton on the Water is not a theme park. It does not open or close, nor are there any entry fees. It is a vibrant village home to some 4,000 residents, buzzing with many community groups, local events, and fantastic small businesses. Did you know that Bolton on the Water is the location of the famous football match in the river that takes place every year? The water is shallow enough for children to paddle in, which makes it for a fantastic place to cool down before. And because it's so picturesque, there are lots of opportunities for a photo. I feel there's nothing more ahead. The hills they seem all green, but they hide all the monsters. And you kept holding my head as you reach for water. On the hills by the lake, you were chasing your dream. And I gave you. What are you up to, you little monkey? Here he goes again. There's no arrow, so there's a little bit of a debate about where we are on the map. This took about 15 minutes, so I thought I'd film it. When the stars close bright, the summer's old. And another photo opportunity, there are a number of footbridges on Bolton on the Water to pick from. The hills by the lake you were chasing your dreams And I gave you a rose that you kept 
So where can you park when visiting Bolton on the Water? Uh, Bolton on the Water lies on the A429 between Stowe on the Wold and Sirencester. There are two main car parks in the village located at Station Road and Ritterton Road, but in peak season spaces are extremely limited and seasonal temporary car parks are available. There's a three shop. Three shop? What's that? And it's closed. Go on in, guys. Go on in. Pots of tea and light bites are served at this cozy, charming local with hanging teapots on a patio. It's on Facebook and there are some contact details on the screen. But Karen and I were on the search for a cream tea. Mmm, cream tea. Yum. That's right, this photo was actually taken in the cafe, not taken off the internet. That's what we ate. The Chestnut Tree, a tea room and licensed bistro is located adjacent to the River Windrush in the beautiful Cotswold village on Bolton on the Water, famous for its cream teas, afternoon celebration teas, along with superb breakfast, lunches and snacks, cakes, pastries and, of course, ice cream. The service is friendly and welcoming and they're looking forward to your next visit. Well, we hope you really enjoyed the video of Bolton on the Water and the Cotswolds in general, but we'll leave you with these photos that we took on our journey. We had a wonderful day there. You can also um, spend your time, your weeks there on holidays. You don't need to go abroad. You don't need to fly. You can have the safety and security of not having to have a big carbon footprint all over the place, and you could explore England and its heritage here. And if you have a young family, there's lots to do, and also free walks everywhere. If you enjoyed the video, we hope you did. You can find us on Footsteps 24-7 on YouTube at any time. And there's lots of videos there of things that we've done. We look forward to seeing you there.